What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to another question. So this one was sent to me by a student. Thought it was a unique question, so I wanted to make a video for it. So we have this function. It's actually a quadratic, f of x equals m minus one plus three mx plus one. And that quadratic, it has an axis of symmetry at x is equal to three. So we're given that information, and with that information, we have to find the m value in the quadratic, and then number two, with the m value that we find in number one, we have to take that and then convert it to vertex form. Because notice that that quadratic there, it's actually in standard form, right? The m minus one is like the a value, a x squared plus b x, so the b value is three m plus one, the c value is one. Now, just in general, as a review, if we have a quadratic in standard form, then we know that the axis of symmetry is equal to what? It's negative b over 2a, the axis of symmetry or the x value of the vertex, both of those mean the same thing, basically the x value that cuts the quadratic in half. And so to find this m value, we would basically use that formula right there. So the axis of symmetry is negative b over 2a, and again, if we go back to this specific quadratic, we know the a value is m minus 1, the b value is 3m, and then the c value is 1. We actually don't need the c value for number one, but I'll write it out anyway. So using those parameters here, the axis of symmetry is three, so we basically know for this case that three, the axis of symmetry is equal to negative b over two a. So plugging everything in, negative, the b value is three m, and then the a value is m minus one. Oh, sorry, it's two a, so it's two times that a value of m minus one, like that. And then from here, notice that we have an equation in terms of one variable, so we could solve for that variable m. And the way I'm gonna do it is I'm actually gonna put this three over one and I'm gonna just cross multiply. So one times negative three m would just be negative three m. Then three times this, three times the two would be six and then the m minus one is still in brackets. So this would end up being negative 3m equals 6m minus 6. Bring the negative 6 over, bring the negative 3m over. So we'd have 6m plus 3m, which would give us 9m. Negative 6 comes over, it's 6. Divide both sides by 9. m would equal 6 over 9, which simplifies to 2 over 3. So that's the answer for number 1. That's the m value. So m would equal two over three. And so now for number two, what we gotta do is first plug in that m value of two over three here. So two over three minus one, what's that gonna give us? Well, that's gonna be like two over three minus three over three, which would be negative one over three. So rewriting this function, it would be negative one over three x squared. And then we have three times m, which is two over three. The threes cancel out, we're just left with a two. So the b value ends up being two, so this would end up being plus two x. And then we have the c value at the end, plus one, like that. And notice that this quadratic, it's still in standard form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, but now we don't have any other constants to figure out or worry about. We have all the numbers we need. And so from here, we just have to convert it to vertex form. We have to complete the square on this. So first step is we wanna take out a negative one over three and we'd be left with x squared. Now what is two divided by negative one over three? Well, it'd be like two over one divided by negative one over three, which would be like two over one times negative three over one, which would be negative six. So this would end up being minus six 
and then the plus one stays outside of the bracket. And then what we do is we take this negative six divided by two and square it, which would give us nine, right? Negative three to the power two is nine. And so that nine, what would happen is we'd end up having x squared minus six, uh, six x plus nine minus nine plus one. Then we want to take that negative nine out, but when we take it out, we got to multiply by what's in front. So negative nine times negative one over three would give us positive three. Like that. And then notice that this here, perfect square trinomial, factors into x minus three to the power two, and then three plus one gives us four. Right? So that's the same function. That's the exact same thing as this, but now it's in that vertex form. And notice that the vertex is three and four. And so it corresponds with the information that we were given that the axis of symmetry is happening at an x value of three. Remember, it's the x value of the vertex. So it's a nice way to actually check your answer for number one, right? It doesn't guarantee that it's correct, but we could be pretty confident that that m value is correct because when we plug it in to the standard form and we take the standard form and convert it to vertex form, we end up getting that same axis of symmetry.